Okay, we got Bolt up next playing Dragapult, Tita, uh, Indeedy, Corviknight, Cinderace, and Comfy. So we're probably looking at um, weakness policy Dragapult, I, I would imagine, um, which is kind of scary, for sure. Um, so it's like whether or not we put all our eggs in one basket and go for um, Toga Kiss Dusclops and try like our hard Trick Room mod. Because to be honest, I think if we get Trick Room up, we lose to Toga Kiss, that's fine. Um, they don't have like Rillaboom that we're worried about. And I think with Rhyperia Rotom in the back, that kind of deals with more stuff, except the Dragapult will be very tricky. Like then we're relying on getting our Weakness Policy boost up with Rhyperia then to deal with the Dragapult. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> Johnny trolling me, higher than me on the ladder. <laughs> Let's see, uh, get good, get good, yeah, I have to get good, man, yeah. You know what, as well, I was playing around with the Blastoise team as well, um, G-Max Blastoise team. I really feel like G-Max Blastoise can be very good as well in this format. But it just wasn't working, it wasn't working, hence all the, the number of losses that we've got on our card already. Um, yeah, just couldn't, couldn't get it going. Which was unfortunate, but I will keep working on it. Rhyperia is a budget Tito. <laughs> Bundy, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us tonight, man. Uh, we got Corviknight and we got Indudu. Indudu. Um, okay. I mean, I'm kind of happy not to see the Dragapult. Like, honestly, I can't really switch in Rotom here, though. Uh, I can get the Trick Room up if I want, but. It's likely that the Indeedee probably pulls a fast one and goes for the Imprison here. Um, we could potentially... Well, do we, do we, do we, do we just go Dazzle? Just get some damage onto the, uh, the Indeedee. Kind of want to get rid of the terrain though. That's like a big thing. I would love to get rid of the terrain. Um, let's max. Get rid of the terrain and get Rotom in. Yeah, and then we can max Airstream the next turn. Get a nasty plot boost and see if we can just start eating away at this cover night. Let's try this. Nigel, how are you doing, mate? And the Porky, I hope you're both well. Have good days. What are we talking about? What are we trying to get? Oh, what am I doing? Don't wanna don't wanna close anything down. Yeah, you can evolve Eevee into Sylveon. Uh, it just needs to have a fairy move and max happiness or as close to it as possible. And yeah, just give it a rare candy and it will evolve. Um, yeah, so they've got that new mechanic now with um, with Genet where you can, you can evolve anything level 100 now. So if players are trying to be smart on the GTS and send you over like a level 100 magic card thinking that you'll never be able to evolve it. It doesn't it doesn't work anymore. So that's a, that's a good thing. Have you also got the requisite things for Sylvia and Zevo? So I think it's just a fairy move it needs to know. Pretty sure during the day, maybe. Fairy move during the day. I'm pretty sure that's, that's all it is. I think. Yeah. Oh, Bebum, I forgot to mention, yeah, we were talking about it before you jumped in, but um, there has been a big influx recently of um, Lycanroc on the ladder and the usage stats. So I'm, I'm expecting you to be pretty ha happy about that. I think it's been played quite a lot in Japan at the minute. Uh, I've seen it on a lot of um, Japanese builds, like top tier teams. So I'd imagine the usage to probably kind of just keep creeping up. We we'll see Tito pop in. Probably going to see another airstream from my opponent. Maybe they go steel spike here. Okay, they're gone. Steel spike. Get that defense boost. Okay. I'll try and match there. We do get that nasty plot boost. 
We'll get our own speed boost. It has a fairy move in the friendship person in Hamalak says it's nearly the best of friends. Cool. So it should be ready, man. Just wreck handy it and it should be. I think you might have to do it through the day. Maybe check Cerebi. Um it might not need to be through the day, it might just need to have the fairy move, but um, I think that's the only difference with Espion. Like, that's why it's ringing a bell, why it might be through the day when you have to do it. Um, okay, let's go Starfall into Tita and do we actually just go double up into Tita? Because I think a Starfall and a Thunderbolt will get Tita, like a plus two. Pretty sure. And there's no way Tita outspeeds us. Unless they go for another Airstream, and then we're screwed. Okay, so we get this. And we get the star four. Okay, T Tail gone. That's perfect. Okay, perfect. That's like probably the only thing that's threatening our Rotom. Maybe? I don't know. There's another airstream. It's fine. Like, we don't really mind if the Corviknight's like super fast. I mean, we've got Rotom. It's doing like literally nothing to Rotom. Um, and we are plus two, so we're sitting in a pretty good place. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, just bring in... No, nah, I think we bring in Dustlops right now. I think they're forced to kind of bring in Indeedee to stop us Trick Room in again. They'll need to worry about the Dragapult for sure. He's coming onto the field now, but... Um, we can potentially get rid of this Corviknight. And it's got Opa Berry, so we definitely T Bolt that slot. Um, <coughs> yeah, I think we T Bolt and we Trick Room. While well, we've got the opportunity to. I think a plus two will get Call the Night. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Um, we're going to see uh, Phantom Falls or Dragon Darts. Get a ball. Ah. Okay, that's perfect. Not so perfect because Rotom is like super speedy now with that speed boost. But I mean... Yeah, that's not, that's not great. Uh, <laughs> but, do we just... Hmm. We actually outspeed the Dragapult, which is not great. And now the Psychic trains up. I mean, we can pain split with the Dragapult. And then I think we'll try and get a T Bolt. Oh, uh, we've just misclicked. Uh, okay. Okay. That works. <laughs> when the misclick just totally backfires. I mean, it's not great for the, the pain split, but it's fine for Rotom, because Rotom isn't going down here. Uh, the Shadow Ball take... They're going after Rotom here. Okay, that's super fine. <laughs> when Ally Switch goes wrong, there you go. Okay, well... Yeah, now we can just ally, uh, pain split again and just go for... I wonder how much a plus two overheat will do. <laughs> Johnny, it's not my fault. The ally switch trying to be sneaky. Okay, so those clops eating these shadow balls up. I reckon this will be very close, you know. Plus two overheat. Yeah. Rotom putting in some work there. Amazing. Okay, yeah, I need to be less trigger happy. Um, but yeah, picked up the, the victory. Excellent. Very good game to bolt. So, yeah. So they are playing a team of Alakazam, Indeedee, Female, P2, Venusaur, Torquil, and Azumarill. Um, I really like that Azumarill, Venu, and Torquil. Ball. It seems like a conflict, like the Sun conflict, but the, the cover between them is really good. Uh, there's a, there's just hard trick room really with you, and then you, your fast mods are the Alakazam, uh, loves that psychic train, and then the the Venu who really loves the sun. Um.
I mean, Trick Room here for us is like, all right. I'm. I think a safe-ish lead for us is definitely Incineroar Rotom. Like Rotom is going to be fine if Venu comes out with the safety goggles. Um, do we need Rhyperia though? I don't know. I mean if the sun's up, Rhyperia is fine. We could go Rhyperia and we could go Rillaboom and just not worry about our own trick room. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Lee, get to, to top 500 on stream and I'll give you some shinies. Is that any better bribery than that? <laughs> we'll try, dude. We'll try. I think we will be able to get there tonight. I pretty, I'm pretty confident we should be able to get top 500 tonight. Hopefully. Like, it's the ladder's so early now. If we just have a little bit of a good run, we should be able to kind of get there. Okay, we're going to see P2 and Topol. I right, come up from my corner. I wonder what they were expecting. Like, what were they expecting us to leave? That, like, yeah. P2 gets the attack boost, which is fine. Um, do I really, really worry about um, Trick Room going up? I kind of want to just parting shot into the tall fall and go for an overheat. Thing is, doing that. Are they going to protect though? Are they going like? Do they protect the tall fall here? I don't think they do, to be honest. Like that's the only problem is if we go for if we go for this play and they protect the tall fall, then the tall fall's sitting in a pretty nice spot going into the next turn. But I really, don't think they will will go for that. Yeah, there's no protect. And I think, yeah, we just need that damage to really reduce the attack power of the eruption. Uh, so we can get Rhyteria onto the field a little bit easier. Um, I think you do Trick Room with P2. And then the next turn what we can do is just switch Rotom out to Incineroar, reset the uh, special attack drops. Okay, we're going to see Body Press. I mean, Rhyperia takes that a heck of a lot better than Tito. We get a weakness policy boost for free. And if we see a Trick Room, that is pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. All planned out, just like that. Good to hear, Nigel. Good to hear, my friend. Um, all right, well, I don't think this Tall Call's got Solar Beam. I can quite safely say that. Just what? Hmm. I kind of want to double the P2 and not really switch the uh, the Rotom out because I think P2 probably tries to reverse the Trick Room now. Um, we we'll go with Max Rockfall into it. Max Quake is probably more useful. It could be really cheeky and go for a Max. Um, now we'll go Max Quake, and I will switch into NC. Special attack boost is going to be way more useful. Uh, I think some Torkoal maybe run Solar Beam, but I think if they've got Body Press, I don't think they've got room for it, do they? Oh, it's unlikely. They might do. We might get absolutely sniped here. You never know. You never know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, Burning Jealousy is a very good option. I think the only thing that we've got going for us with the Burning Jealousy right now is that they're going to attack before us, so we don't get any like stat boosts before they attack, which is ideal. So we're just going to see the body press again. Fine. Um, I don't know if they're going to reverse the Trick Room, honestly. They may not. They may not. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that to knock out. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to stop doing this tonight. Bit, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Thanks for hopping in and joining us tonight. Bundy, love, wishing for that solar beam. Not coming now. Okay. Right, Azu coming out. I mean, right now, the sun is helping us massively. Um, Rhyperia going to be the slowest thing in the field, so I think we just... 
uh, Max Quake again, and we can go for. What have we got in the back? Like, hmm. Can potentially just fake out the Zemo. I worry about it maxing though, for sure. Um, we we'll get rid of this whole call right now. Have to chase down the zoo, I think. Um, I'm gonna actually double into the zoo, just parting shot it as well. If we take it down, then yeah, I mean, it's back again. It's just not doing anything. You need the belly drum, and you need to max. A system with these bo body body presses. Um, yeah, and we'll get the parting shot into the top hole. More than likely here. <laughs> Haxing my opponents, yeah, I need to stop doing that. I was like, there's no way plus two max quick takes down PT. There's no way, no way. I was so surprised. But yeah, we know why. I've had way too many crits tonight. Um, let's bring it wrong. I don't want to bring in Willaboom just yet. I think the last Pokemon will be Venusaur. So this sets us up pretty well if it is Venusaur. Uh, they're going to try and stall out. Yeah, they're going to try and stall out the uh, the Trick Room, I think. But Venusaur, one of those Pokemon that doesn't really carry Protect. So I mean, yeah, we got two turns left. Um, to be honest, we could just go Overheat into Ven. I mean, we probably double into Venusaur, right? Um, just go Rockfall. Can we get rid? Hmm. No, I think we get rid of it. I think let's get rid of the talk hole here and let's just go for the overheat. Let's just do that. Let's take this opportunity to get rid of the talk hole because otherwise. Rhyperia is a beast though. I do really love Rhyperia. I think it's like it's. It's thought, it is forgotten about a little bit, but that's because like Tito offers that dog typing with the rock typing with the weather as well. So it has like all three of those things that like kind of tips the scales a little bit in um, Tito's favor. At least I feel that's that's how most players look at it. I definitely look at it from that respect. I think Tito offers a heck of a lot, whereas Rhyperia. Um, is great, but you kind of need to max to get the weather with it, so it's not really a great weather kind of utility Pokemon. Okay, well, but Rhyperia is very good, very good. Okay, so Venusaur, I think we get it with just Ice Punch and um, Overheat, to be honest. There's only, yeah, one turn of Trick Room left, so I think that's actually all we need as long as Rotom hits it's overheat and then we should be able to pick up knockout wow there's a lot of damage that does a heck of a lot of damage Heinz you're off, mate. Thank you so much for uh, popping by, dude. We stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. So come back Wednesday or, or Friday, mate, if you're around. It's been great just catching up with you a little bit briefly. But yeah, stay safe, mate. And uh, I look forward to uh, chatting to you again soon. We've got Ming up next. Hopefully it's a good one. We see Steelix, so it should be good. Uh, okay, we've got Steelix, Lapras, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Togekiss, and Comfy. Comfy everywhere this evening. Um, right, I think, again, we just need to be... We need to play carefully around the, the Lapras. So we will go Incineroar. Uh, what? what let's see. Like, I mean, Rhyperia is good. Again, like, it's good. But the Rillaboom, like, I think Nigel, you just mentioned it. But, um, all the Rillaboom make it very difficult to, to get Rhyperia gone. I mean, Rillaboom up top. Rotten Heat. I mean, Rotten does really well. Like, if we can just manage the field. Yeah. Let's lock him with this. We're not bringing it. 
Bebum, thank you so much, my friend, for coming by tonight. And uh, have a great one, dude. Mr. Eeks, how are you doing, my friend? Finally got around to dropping by. Dude, it's an honor to have you here, mate. Hard when you stream before me. <laughs> are we having a great day, dude? Just playing around with Rotten Heat tonight. Uh, I've been wanting to play it for like the last couple of weeks. Or at least the last week. I was saying to the guys earlier, then Bebsy does his thing and just blows up with uh, Rotten Heat over the weekend. And I'm like, man, I thought I was going to be the one that had the idea. And then he just, yeah, wins. So, now nah, I'm good though. I'm only joking, mate. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, his team was really cool, man. I this is the whole thing why I was I was like really wanting to pick up on it last week was uh, it just like you look at it with safety goggles, it just completely shuts sundown. It does a really good job. It's just making sure you got the the right checks to stuff like um, rain and things like that, which can be a little bit problematic. Yeah, I expect the resonance to come into the Rillaboom really slot here. Comfy rocking the weakness policies. Okay, it's switching out. Kind of surprises me. I thought you might just stay in. Okay, so now I'm coming onto the field once that intimidate. I guess that's a nice thing about leading with Rillaboom. You kind of have to, you kind of pressure that that uh, intimidate switch in just to keep your Lapras nice and healthy. But yeah, dude, awesome to have you here, man. I hope you've do, been doing well, man. Hope you had a good weekend and enjoyed the uh, the streamer cup. It looked a lot of fun, dude. I really need to get more up to date with catching GMAX Pokemon in good balls. Everyone seems to have like all their really cool GMAX Pokemon in these balls. And like partly the, the least stylist GMAX Pokemon user in the history of Pokemon users. Okay, so we do get the parting shot. That's super useful for us into the Lapras. Nice to know as well that we actually into out speeds it going forward as well. So um we get room back on the field. Mm, no, I think we get Togekiss because I want to try and bait out maybe the, the resonance into that slot the next turn. But I think they go into, they definitely resonance into what was really boom now, which is the Rotten Heat. Yeah. That minus one going to help us take that a lot easier. Yeah, need the data. Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, man, you got to rest up when you can, like on to be like you must be streaming like you must have a crazy streaming schedule now like so yeah you need to take those that downtime when you get the chance to dude right um sure what are we gonna do we've got fake out active i think i need to i'm gonna pull a switch into nc and i think i might pre mm. Yeah, I'm gonna protect Rotten because I think the next turn, I think they go, and maybe. They maybe go Max Geyser into Rotten here. Yeah. It will make sense for them to, to kind of go for that play, but they may be tempted to try and get rid of the, the Toll Kiss as well. I, so. I mean. Yeah, there's a fine shot into Rotten. Are you doubling that slot? Yeah, they're going for the geyser. Okay. Well, they get the rain up now. I think it's a next turn that we need to be a little bit careful. Where we probably need to parting shot with NC and maybe get tog. Mm. Parting shot. Because I kind of want to get Rotten back onto the field where Incineroar is now. That would be a ideal. Um, probably bring Tolikus in, as I don't really want to lose Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom is a bit too important at the minute. 20 hours a week, man. I don't know, free time spent doing other content. Nice, dude, yeah. It's like all the other stuff that you do on top as well. It's not just like when you're sat streaming. It's like all that behind the scenes stuff as well, dude, yeah. Nuts sometimes. Yeah, well, parting shot into Togekiss, which isn't too bad. I'm really hoping we don't see a resonance. They might read this because of how, like, we're, con we're not interested about attacking at the minute. We're just stalling out this G Max. So, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they, they kind of 
scout this play, maybe. But we do get the potting shot. And like I say, I really would like to get Rotom onto this side of the field now because that means we can potentially start a bit more of our offensive. And it makes it difficult, though, if we lose Rotom. I mean, we do have Rillaboom, so we're, we're not going to like lose completely. But Geyser, where are you going? Okay, that's fine. That's super fine. That's super fine. Uh, yeah, now we can we can nasty plot, we can follow me, and then we can set Rotom up and then start doing some work with this this little oven. So there's a nasty plot. I am gonna follow me. Um they probably proc their own weakness policy. Okay, they don't. What are they doing with Comfy then? Comfy doing. Comfy, what are you doing? What's Trick Room in? Huh. <laughs> okay, <coughs> I should have thought of that as well. Um, I think we're still kind of alright though. So we max Lightning. I should probably get rid of the Comfy though, to be honest. There's a play I could potentially make where I, I protect Rotom here and just go Dazzle. The problem is with Comfy next to the Lapras is it's just going to constantly heal it. Um, and we need to try and get rid of the... Like, we need the Aurora Veil to go so we can one-shot this Lapras. Yeah. And this gives us a free Dazzle. So this is... This is good for breaking potential Sashes on the Comfy. Man, that does nothing. Okay, that Lapras is definitely in range now for us to take it down. Although... Again, we don't want to fall into the trap if the Aurora Veil doesn't end here. It does. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Now we max. Now we follow me and just go max lightning. Because they probably go for the floral healing. I think that makes the most sense. But this is all right. Shiny Comfy is such a nice shiny, isn't it, Johnny? I totally agree with you, man. It's like definitely one of those like those shiny Pokemon that I, I when you see it, I'm like instantly like, yeah, I need that. I need that. I still haven't got around to doing one myself. Uh, so maybe that's the next project. Maybe. But I haven't really revisited Comfy since we played it like a few weeks ago. It's still really interesting Pokemon. I still really like it. Oh, okay. Brutal ally switch in Comfy as well. I mean, if we take down the Comfy here, I really don't mind this. This trade-off is way, like, definitely worth it because I don't even think this takes down Togekiss. You're minus two Lapras. Okay, we just take it. That's fine. Um, yeah, we... Oh, okay, that's... Not like it. I think we still have a follow me in our bag. That's not the worst. The rain does stop, which makes it a bit easier for us. Um, we still go for that. We go for the follow me. So Lapras surely under speeds. Under speeds the the comfy. I don't think there's any. No, does this take us down? It does. I still think we're all right. You know, I think the fact that we don't actually have uh, the rain up anymore, I'm not really too worried about this taking us down. Um, all for that reason. Okay. Well, we get the Lapras. I think this locks it up for us now. I think it's going to be difficult for my opponent to come back. From this point, these Hydro Pumps are not being kind for my opponent tonight. Bringing in Cinero, I don't really want to get rid of the Electric Train just yet. Okay, NC coming out. Um... Dinner is going to be a little bit awkward for us to deal with, so I think I probably want to concentrate a little bit more down onto that. Maybe Flare Blitz into the Comfy if we can. Uh, uh, or do we just waste? 
I mean, what have they got in the what have they got in the back potentially? What have we seen? Hmm. I doubt it's a Steelix. I really don't think it's a Steelix. Um. Kind of tempted just to get some damage onto the the Incineroar though, and maybe just go for a Flare Blitz into Comfy. Okay, Comfy switching out. What is this going to be? It is the Steelix. Nice. Okay, that Flare Blitz helps out massively. Not going to do a massive chunk because Steelix is so strong defensively, but we can totally stall out this Trick Room. It's not. Rotom is just a ninja, like dodging everything. <coughs> okay, now we're going to be able to get uh, plus two. We're going to get two more. I don't know. No, oh, it's close though. Proper theory. Iggy. Uh, and that's the dimension to come back to normal. So that's super fine for us now. Um, I think. Felix probably protects Star. Uh, and I think we just part and shot out and see his scenario. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. I mean, the Steelix might protect here. Like the opposing, yeah, the opposing Cinero is not really causing us too many issues, like at all. Could surprise us with something like Docus Lariat or something like that, maybe. Let's just go for the Snarls. That's still fine though. Hey, the thing about Steelix is, like, we know it's not got a salt vest. It's really weak on its um, special defensive side. So, and we can get Rillaboom in. Um, I could play my opponent might go for here. Would be switch out the Steelix into Comfy, uh, which would definitely make sense. Just to sack it. Uh, there's a part of me that wants to double into the Incineroar here, just like fake out Thunderbolt. But I have no idea what the Steelix is going to do. It's so threatened though right now, I don't feel like it stays on the field at all. I think I'm going to do that, I think I'm going to go for the fake out. Uh, and Thunderbolt. And we should, that should get the, that should get the Incineroar. Because we're still plus one, so. And beats, do I ever play singles? I don't really play singles too much. No, uh, I do love singles though. Singles is like literally like where I started playing Pokemon, obviously. I just don't have the time to really play um, singles any lot. It's really, yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. I think if I have a little bit more time on my hands, it's definitely something I want to get back into and um, play no you. Um, I really do enjoy singles and just the, the super long grindy matches. Like there's just something about those I get a lot out of. Um, how about yourself? Are you singles player? Or do you play primarily VG? Okay, so Steelix coming back in. Um, kind of alright now because we can just uh, overheat the Steelix and go for a grassy glide. And I think even like if they go floral healing into Steelix now, we'll be able to pick up the knockout. So that should. Yeah, I think plus one overheat and we'll get it and even if not like we'll still have we'll get the, the comfy here we still got incineroar in the back and we still got rillaboom on the field so we're gonna be fine kind of don't want to knock it out to see what the steelix is going to be doing sash though it looks like oh no steady steady the invisible sash um Okay, well, we're going to see a move. body press. Makes sense. Okay, this will take us down. Easy. Wow, it doesn't. Huh, I'm kind of surprised by that. Well, that's fine, because we can just grassy glide now, and we just take the win. So we'll just switch to Incineroar, and yeah, Rotom putting in a bunch of work there. So, I will get the rental scene for you guys if you'd like to try it out. Um, and you can have a go with Rotom Heat. Um, if you'd like to, so I'll do that right now for you, friends. Good game to my opponent. Make it public. Yep. And then I will definitely make sure to check it for you guys. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the team.
and if you do play it let me know how you've got on with it uh, have a great rest of the evening guys take care of yourselves and i will see you hopefully on wednesday for another one and um, be kind to each other and um yeah see you wednesday hopefully friends bye bye